Hello Virgo, it's my lady from Ladies Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 23rd through the 30th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you'd like a personal reading, check in the description box below, email me, and we can set something up. I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I don't know if I said that already, but I'm saying it now. <laughs> so, what's going on with the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Virgo love reading for October 10th. I mean, October 23rd. October 23rd. October 30th, 2017. I see somebody's letting some relationships go or some situations. All right. E so it seems like uh, there might be some third party situations going on or maybe just somebody's trying to get into the relationship, you know, um, or, but I'm feeling like this might be on both sides. I feel like one of the par parties has somebody else and one of the parties has somebody trying to pursue them or they're trying to pursue somebody, okay? All right, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Oh my God, this wants to come out. Yeah, okay, so yikes. Um, it seems like somebody is getting ready to possibly leave their home for somebody else or they could be getting ready to leave one of the third parties to be home, okay? All right, yeah, so somebody think they're making a wise decision by leaving somebody out of this third party, which is right. All right, let's see. What's going on with this wisdom card? What's this wisdom card about? Mm, wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't like this. Well, it seems like somebody may be about to leave. I'm feeling like... Let me clarify it again because I don't want to say that. All right, what is this with Vision's card reverse? Vision's card reverse. Okay. So somebody is about to leave their current for their ex. This card represents ex to me. So um, somebody is dealing with their ex and they might be getting ready to leave their current for their ex or you may feel or think your partner is going to leave for their ex. Okay, so one thing i see is you possibly think they're going to leave for their ex but it's not the ex but i feel like if it's you leaving you're leaving for your ex okay all right so okay so it seems like somebody got this third party situation going on because somebody just keep violating their personal space i feel like this person is like if you think I'm cheating, I'm going to cheat. And they think this is a wise decision to do this. Like, okay, well, I'm cheating because you think I'm cheating. But now I'm going to leave because I don't like living like this. Okay. Okay, yeah, the love has run out here. All right. No love. Okay, and there's no love because the relationship has become too emotionally draining. And I feel like this is both parts. I don't feel like it's just one half, okay? So, yeah. So, I think this um, receptivity card is about giving negative energies to each other. Like, I think you're cheating. You think I'm cheating. I want to go over here. You want to go over there. You know, and both of y'all just giving this... Uh, negative energy back and forth to each other because y'all really don't want to be together. Okay? All right, what's going on with the Virgo, Virgo, Virgo? I read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message, all right? What's going on with the Virgo? Love reading October 23rd to 30th. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Love reading October 23rd to 30th, 2017. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo. October 23rd. Mm. Yeah, so I feel like it's a bunch of arguing going on. Communication. Negative communication back and forth. 
Yeah. So now that I'm looking at the whole story, it is a wise decision to go back to the ex or whatever because this is not right. All right, yeah, somebody's picking up and leaving. Somebody like, this is too hard. This is too much work. You know, you may be dealing with a fire sign as well, but um, general reading, it can go anything, anywhere. All right, so, ugh. I feel like for some of you, you may have lost your job because of this situation or this third-party situation is at um, your partner's job, okay? Yeah. All right. Wow. So it seems like you, some of you only want to fight it because of the person that they're dealing with at their job. Like you don't like that person and you don't want that person to have them, even though you don't want them. Mm, okay. So yeah, it's time to make a choice. Like, do you want to fight for this person you don't want? <laughs> Or not. All right, but I'll read these straight out the book. Let's see what's going on. Sorry, we got the Ten of Staffs first. Ten of Staffs. All right, this says, you will succeed after struggle. At times, the difficulties seem far too much, but you may continue. I mean, you must continue. So it's like... I feel like this is in your venture to leave the situation. It's like, it's going to be hard at first because you got to start all over you know, with everything that you got together. You got to give it away, sell it, whatever. But it's like, you know, it's worth it because this is just too much. All right, so we got the three of coins reversed. And this is, indicates silly workplace rivalry and boredom with your position. So, yeah, you sick of what's going on at home, probably at work, too. And you're just like, I got to get the hell out of here. Okay? All right, so now we got the nine of staffs. Nine of staffs. Nine of staffs. All right, this says, problems of your past may haunt you. Enemies may be near. Be very careful with your trust. Take what you have learned from the past and use it now. That's basically like... I don't know. You got to learn who to trust right now. Learn, you know, if you want to go that envious route or, you know, do you want to just take responsibility for what you did and walk away or what's going on? Like, do you really want to remain in this toxic situation? All right. So we got the two of swords. Two of swords. Two of swords. All right. And it's upright. It says a choice between two things may occur. Look for people who offer friendship and mutual respect for guidance. So you're left off with a choice. What are you going to do? But that's all I have. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you're on a personal reading, uh, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, have a great week.